on Christmas in 1066. Duke William becomes King William I. William the Conqueror. When the assembled crowd of English and Normans were asked whether it was their will that William be king, they cheered so loudly that the Norman guards positioned outside the abbey panicked and thought it was a riot. So they set fire to the surrounding houses. The smoke began to drive people from the coronation. But the new king didn't budge. William sat alone on his newly acquired throne as Westminster burned around him. It was a fitting start to the bloody rule of the Normans. William spent nearly a year plotting his invasion of England. He'd spend many more years trying to subdue the English people. Eventually, William would return to Normandy to fight over borders at home. By then, England was firmly his and moving towards a new future. William ended up spending most of his reign back in Normandy, and it was there eventually, in 1087, that he died, a fat and bloated shadow of his former warrior self. It was the end of one of the most dramatic reigns in British history, a reign that saw seismic changes to this country, the results of which, like William's Great Tower, we're still living with to this day.